The purpose of this video is to discuss Chapter 2 in the Proposal Writing Book, Effective Grantmanship for Funding uh, by Coley and Schreinberg. Chapter 2 is Understanding the Nonprofit Agency, and so they go through some general information on how nonprofits produce revenue or how they bring in income uh, so they can pay your salary. Uh, so some of the things that they do is they'll have events such as dinners, auctions, picnic, dances, pledge drives, whatever. Uh, they can also have individual donors. If they're a nonprofit organization, they can have, you know, you could be a donor to them. You could donate 50 bucks to them for something. They also have corporate donors. So a lot of times you'll see things like Bank of America has sponsored some event. And so that would be a corporate donor. Uh, sometimes they have products that they can sell, so they create an educational brochure or something or a book and then they can sell that. Um, clients clearly can contribute money to the organization. Uh, they pay for a service of some sort. Um, then there's also grants and contracts. The chapter also talks about what a 990 is. That's incredibly important. If you don't know, you definitely need to figure that out. But the 990 is basically the tax form that the nonprofit organization files every year to the federal government for taxes, tax purposes, and they report a lot of their information in there. They report all of their earnings, what their expenditures were. It's also a law that if someone makes more than $100,000 at your organization, you have to report it on the 990. So that's fun and interesting to see how much your CEO makes um, or some of the other executives at your company. Uh, the other thing is you can find the 990 sometimes publicly. Organizations are required to provide this, uh, provide the 990 publicly. Um, so if they don't have it on their website or if you can't find it from the website guide, guidestar.org, there's a few other websites out there, but you can also just email them and say you want the 990 and they're required to provide it for you. But the other thing, oh, they also have a section on organizational capacity uh, and some thought reflections about collaborative work so you can read through that but the part that I found most helpful is what they talked about the mission um, the mission and objectives and so on one hand if you're grant writing the RFP will clearly state what the what the grants objective and goals are but then the question is what are your organizational goals and objectives like what's your organizational mission uh, so your mission statement, why do we exist? Why should people care about your organization? And they give two great examples. Uh, the first one is Boys and Girls Club of America. Their mission is to enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible citizens. So that mission just basically says, here's what we do, we care about these folks, and we want to help them to become productive, caring, and responsible. So that's the Boys and Girls Club. However, the Red Cross also has a very good mission statement, and that is the American Red Cross prevents and alleviates human suffering. It talks about what it's resolving in the face of emergencies by mobilizing the power of volunteers and the generosity of donors. I mean, that's fabulous. That's a fabulous mission statement. Not only does it say what we're trying to resolve, but then it tells you what, how they're doing that. So by mobilizing the power of volunteers and the generosity of donors. So not only does it tell you how they do it, but it also pulls in your heartstrings. You know, it's like, it just seems so important and, and so urgent. You know, it's like you want to be a volunteer for them. You want to be that donor that they call generous. So, um, so what is the mission statement for your organization and how does this fit in with the grant? And you have to sort of combine the two if you want to win the grant. 